Hello guys and welcome again to another edition of Learning with Rich. In this topic, so we are going to continue our discussion in Navisworks Manage uh, Clash Detection. Alright, so in our last exercise, I have shown you how to create a report as a uh, viewpoints. Okay, so as you can see in our previous exercise, we created our report by saving the viewpoints of our clashes okay in a in the save viewpoints uh, window as you as you click that it shows you the clashes okay so in this topic i'm going to teach you how to create a report in an html format actually we have other formats that is available uh, available for us to use like for example the xml so if you select the XML, it creates an XML file containing all the clashes and a JPEG of their viewpoints alongside their details. Okay, on choosing this option, you will need to select or create a folder for the files and enter a name for the XML file. Okay, so same with your HTML. Okay, another one is we have the HTML tabular. Okay, so same with your HTML, but this one... Okay, you will be able to open your report and edit that in Microsoft Excel 2017 onwards, which is, uh, which is kind of cool, right? You'll be able to open the report and edit in Excel file. So another uh, report format here that we have is text. Okay, so it actually creates a text file containing all the clash details and the location of a JPEG of each clash. Okay, but in this exercise, so we will be using the HTML format. Okay, so I just select uh, select the HTML. Okay, and then from here, you can select the uh, contents that you want to appear to your Clash report. And also the statuses that you want to be included to the report. And let's say I'll just select again the group headers only. All right. So I'm just going to select now write report. So I click this one. And then I'm just going to override this one because previously I already created. But I'm just going to override this. And as you can see, the file there is HTML. So I'm just going to save this. Just override it. Okay, I'm just going to close this one. All right. Okay, so after you save now your HTML uh, Clash report, the next thing that you need to do, of course, is to open that. Where did you save it? Okay, so let me just take a look. Where did I save that uh, model? Okay. Uh -huh. Where are you? Okay, this one. So let me just go inside the exercise files, Navis works. This one, okay? So this is the HTML file. And aside from that, you will also automatically create the mechanical and sprinkler files. Wherein, if you open this, you'll be able to see all the images of the clashes. Of course, you can open that. You can double click if you want, right? Next, 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 okay? So you can uh, open it. So all the images is inside this folder. Now, if I'm going to open the HTML file, this is how it looks like. Double click. This one. There you go. All right. So this is now our uh, class report in HTML format. Okay. All right. Okay. So we can actually select the class here so we can select it and zoom it right you can zoom it so now we can see the item here okay we know everything about it the name uh the distance the description the status of the clash even the grid location so you can find it here all our comments if you have any comments in this one so it will also show here okay so generally when you are going to send this report. I think it would be better if you give some specific instructions on how to view the document. Okay. So another thing, the reason why we are uh, creating our report in HTML file, because not all the 
members in our project, like for example, the owners, they do not know how to use Navisworks, right? And some of our team members, they also do not know how to use Navisworks. And much worse, they also don't have, some of them don't have the Navisworks uh, software. That's why uh, by doing this, they'll be able to open the class report and join the class detection uh, meeting by opening the report as an HTML file, right? Just like this one, okay? So basically, that's how it works, okay? So that's it. This is the last topic for our class detection. So what I want you to do, I want you to explore more the class uh, detection tool, familiarize yourself. And if you have any comments or questions, you just uh, put it on the comment section below of this video. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. So hope this has been helpful to you guys. And once again, this is Rich. Have a nice day.